women don't always have the sort of structure around um, instruction, information, and access to leaders that men do. And part of Wealth's mission is to create that structure and that access. Power Circle Breakfasts are an incredibly special event because, again, you have the opportunity to sit at a table with a, a community leader in a small setting and, and have direct access with them. She sat down right next to me and we chatted and I felt like I was speaking to an old friend. And yet when she stood up and talked to the room, everybody quieted down and listened because they were really interested in what she had to say. An air of confidence, um, the way that you carry yourself, what do I do to make sure that I'm accomplishing what I'm supposed to accomplish? Uh, and oftentimes the executive presence is what's needed to really get you started. And it's what shadow you're leaving behind you. I want the people that um, work around me to say she helped me make a difference in my life. I, mean, I think one of the most powerful things that can happen in any executive setting is to be known as the person who asks the most penetrating questions. It's critical uh, to anyone's success that you make sure that you are visible in, in front of uh, your clients and your executives and you have that, that, that image. It was incumbent upon me to set the example and to set the tone and that it would ease their fears and that um, it would naturally follow from how I conducted myself. You only have one reputation. It takes a lifetime to earn it. You take a moment to lose it. I'm not just going to be the, the best friend. I am going to be the best mentor I can be. We all have this responsibility to help other people, not just women, but get to the stages that they want to go to. So when I started my law practice out of the corner of my bedroom and my kids were <laughs> seven, four, and two. And my only company most of the day once I got the kids to daycare were my dog and my cat. And, and so my father had, had his own insurance agency and I literally called him every day. And he was, he was a mentor to me in terms of, he told me about Quicken, I didn't know about that back then. <laughs> and, uh, and, but, but he, I was able to bounce ideas for how to how to run the business from him, and he was still teaching me even after he died. I found in the in my in his right hand desk drawer, he had written down on a little piece of paper that the most important rooms in an office are the reception room and the conference room. So if those are decorated very very well, your own office can be more stark. The the primo manner in my life, what a father he was! I just <laughs> never measured up. But Dave taught me more than all the other mentors put together. Because he knew that I really wanted to get good at my craft, and he had the guts not to be a buddy. I think I looked back and said, you know, that, that person really helped me by challenging me. That person really helped me by setting a bad example. That, that, and it's not just people that are higher than you in the organization. It's your peers and, and the people that do report to you because they're so smart about so many things. And Linda Maroos, who worked out at The Limited, uh, was an unbelievable mentor. She taught me the work ethic, uh, also taught me that uh, perfection was the only option, which was kind of stressful. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, some evenings that I was there at 11 o'clock at night. Uh, but uh, really, I called it my boot camp. Uh, but Linda was an unbelievable mentor, um, always just very detail oriented, very analytical. Currently, I, uh, Dave Blum is definitely a mentor to me. I'm on the hospice, Kovacker Hospice Board. And I think he leads by example and is just such a compassionate and brilliant man. Uh, so I really look to him bounce ideas off of him. I'm kind of younger in my career, so it's nice to see, oh, well, what's working for them? What can I do to try to, you know, move up there? Who have they looked to? How have they dealt with situations? So it's kind of nice to get here and see what other women are facing and how they're breaking through the ceiling.